Hello friends and welcome to another video of Travel Tech. Now in this video I am going to show you how you can download and install the FX File Explorer for your Digipad. Yes till now I had shown you how exactly you can download and install the ES File Manager which I am going to show you right now is right here on the screen. So this ES File Explorer was the basic file explorer which we had to use till now in order to access the file system of the Digipad. But right now there is a new app called as the FX File Explorer and it is aesthetically even more good looking and smart looking and it gives you a very nice feel while using it on the digipad so right now i'm going to go ahead and show you how you can download and install the fx file explorer on your digipad so once you install it i'm going to show you how you can exactly use that file explorer and make your digipad much more smarter and much more productive so let's just go ahead and begin with the downloading and installation of the FX File Explorer. So before I go ahead and show you exactly how you can download and install, make sure you have the Firefox browser installed on your Digipad. And in case you don't have this Firefox browser, I'm going to give you a link in the description of this video regarding how you can download and install this Firefox browser also. And if you haven't connected the Digipad to the internet, make sure your Digipad is connected to the internet using a Wi-Fi dongle. So there is a Wi-Fi signal logo showing right up here on the top screen. So make sure your Wi-Fi is connected to the digipad either it may be via your mobile hotspot or your home network whichever you prefer so if you don't know how to connect your digipad to the internet well i have made a video regarding that too so i'm going to give you a link in the description of this video so in case you still haven't started using internet on your digipad you can watch that video and start using the internet so once your internet is connected and once you have downloaded and installed the firefox browser i think most of the work is done so considering you have completed all of this work so let's just go ahead and click on the firefox browser on the digipad so once the firefox browser opens up just click on the top url search bar and type in the address which i'm going to show you right now and that is bit.ly slash fxexplo r e r t r a v e l t e c h well this is the url address guys that is bit.ly slash fx explorer travel tech fx e x p l o r e r t r a v e l t e c h so once you type in this address guys just go ahead and click on the go button in the right bottom screen so once you click on the go button it is going to open up the google drive page and right now as you can see the google drive page has opened up and if you can see observe on the left top corner of the screen it is written as fx explorer by travel tech so this google drive page opens up and once this page opens up you can go ahead and click on the download button in the right in the middle of the screen so let's just go ahead and click on the download button and wait for the download to happen and right now the google drive page is saying that google drive can't scan this file for viruses so if you want to download it anyway you just have to click on the blue button here i tell you just go ahead and click on the blue button right here and you need not worry about any sort of viruses because i have personally uploaded that file so once this page opens up just click on the download anyway button and if you drag down the menu from the top of the screen here you can see the download progress bar so this is so this shows you how much the download has uh, completed is it zero percent or hundred percent so once that completes to a hundred percent we are going to go ahead and install the fx file explorer so one more thing which i wanted to tell you guys is that in case you download the file in case you download this app using this particular method and while installing if you do get a parsing error and if the app says or if the notification says cannot parse the package well there is an alternate way you can download it and i have shown that also in a different video as well and i'm going to give you a link in the description of this video in case you face a parsing error so if you do face a parsing error you can go ahead and watch that video and download the app using an alternate method which is surely not to give you any sort of a parsing error and you can download and install it very easily so right now the download is still happening it's about nine uh, eight to nine mb file size it's a quite a big file size compared to the digipad's uh, hard disk so it's a very nice and a very customizable app and it's going to give you a really good feel a really nice look for the digipad once you start using the file explorer so let's just wait for the file explorer app to download so once that gets downloaded we can just go ahead and install it so guys as you can see the download has completed and the download complete dialog box is showing up as download as complete so once the download gets completed just go ahead and click on this download complete dialog box and right now it is going to open up the installation window of this particular app and it is going to give you an option to install or cancel so you just need to go ahead and click on this install button so once you click on the install button the app is going to begin to install itself on the digipad so let's just wait for the app to complete the installation 
so as you can see the app has completed its installation and right now i'm going to open up the app so let's just go ahead and click on the open button so this is the app home page so this is the first page which you which you are going to see once you open up the app and that is nothing but the license agreement so this gives you a detailed license agreement so if you want you can go ahead and read that but generally we nobody does and we just go ahead and click on the accept button so let's just go ahead and click on the accept button right below so right now this is the first introduction screen or the welcome screen you are going to get once you get install the fx file explorer and right now it says uh, it is going to give you a very small tutorial based on how you can actually use this app so let's just go ahead and swipe to the right button so the main menu is in the upper right corner of the screen it is going to be staying there and uh, the three dots main menu is used to access all the basic features like creating new folder files and bookmarks or changing the sort order or the display mode so it's a very convenient and a very customizable explorer app and i think you guys are going to like this while using it in the digipad so if you want to select a file you just need to swipe right on to the on top of the file and it is going to get it selected alternatively you can also tap the plus button in the action bar to touch and select the files so this is kind of the interface which you are going to see once you download and install this app so let's just move further ahead so to move or to copy files first select and then choose the cut to move them and choose to copy to move them this is basically how file explorers work and you might be familiar with the way it works in our pcs on the windows or also in our android smartphones it works in a very same way and uh, i think this is a bit more advanced than the es file explorer and thematically and appearance wise it is much more pleasing to the eyes so let's just go ahead and see what else this fx explorer has to offer on our digipad and there is also an option to use the multiple windows so this option is not available in the es file explorer which we are using currently right now so if you want to use multiple windows while using this app you can use this fx explorer and have multiple functions going on together so let's just go ahead and see what else it has it does gesture moves also you can pinch in you can pinch out in order to increase or decrease the file size and there are certain other gestures as well so you can go through that once you download and install this app on your digipad so this is also one more feature that is the fx upgrades fx upgrade so you can also buy or purchase the licensed version of this app well i'm not sure it is currently available for the digipad or not i have not gone over there and check that but i think there is an option to do that as well and this is the last screen so here is an option to start a 7 day trial of the fx plus now you can click that and just click on the tick button right here so this is the home screen of the fx explorer and i think it looks really neat and the color combinations of the apps and the icons is very much nice and very pleasing to the eyes so this is a very nice uh, app which you can use instead of the es file explorer so there are certain options here such as the documents download media card your uh, regular sd card your system files images videos everything is arranged right here so you can also use your network and connect your smartphone to the fx explorer in order to transfer the files there is a bluetooth option there is a file sharing option and there is a cleaning tool as well so right now i'm going to access my media card which i have inserted so if you want to watch any sort of a video on the digipad while traveling so if i click on the video as you're seeing on the screen right now the video starts to play and this is a built in video player inside the fx explorer so you can use this built in player there is an audio player and a video player both so you can use this both in order to play any sort of a video or an audio file so this is a very nice home page and a very clean home page and the icons are arranged really well you can actually change the way the icons are arranged so if, if you just go ahead and click on the three dotted buttons on the right top corner of the screen and here you can see there is a customize option so right now there is a option called as section grid and icons so if i just go ahead and click on the section button so this uh, icons get segregated into the different kinds of uh, options which are they are available such as the media files files bookmarks internet and network so there are certain various options available right here so the well, that is one option and the next option you can go ahead is click on the grid option so it continues in a, so the apps get arranged in a particular grid manner and the last option is the icon option which, which you just saw right now so these are the certain options that is customizable options available so there is an option called as a theme option right here so if you just go ahead and click on the theme button there is an option to change the color style of this entire app so there is a translucent color holo color and material dark and a material light so if i just go ahead and click on the red color button right here and if i go back so as you can see the color changed to a red color so you can change the file explorer color based on your preference so let me just go ahead and select the blue color back so that was looking more good i think 
so then right now blue color is back and also there are certain other features also which i need to show you so this is a style option and here there is an icon so icon pack also so you can change the color of the icons as well so there are many options such as copper khaki green blue bright blue and plain and of course there is a spectrum and a classic icons also so you can change the icon pack you can change the color pack so these are customizable themes which are available on the fx explorer so right now there is a network option also so you the current currently it is showing that it is connected to a wi-fi network and that is my home network and if you want to connect to an ftp server and you can create an ftp server on your smartphone and you can use this to connect to that ftp server and transfer files wirelessly from the smartphone to the digipad very easily so there is a bluetooth option and right now the, it is showing my phone that is connected to the bluetooth right now so this is the thing guys this is very nice and a very clean looking app and of course the files also looks really nice the file looks very wonderful the file appearance and the options which are available in this are very nice to look at and it's very soothing and very pleasing to the eyes and in a much better way compared to the es file manager but one thing which you guys need to note is that although it has a media player built in it does not play while the parking brake is engaged so if you want to play any sort of a media file like a video file you cannot play it within the built-in media player because once the handbrake uh, gets disengaged the media player within the fx explorer does not play the media file so in case you are planning on playing any sort of a media file just press and hold on the media file click on the open with button scroll down to the es media player and then if you click on the es media player you are going to be greeted with the video and even your if your handbrake is not engaged this is going to play along and then as you drive it is going to come up on the screen easily so if you want to play any sort of a video guys you need a es media player and of course i have already shown you how you can install the mx player on the digipad in order to play videos and that is a dedicated app for playing videos and there is no other best option other than the mx player so if you haven't downloaded and installed the mx player on the digipad well i think i'm going to give you a link in the description of this video as well you can go ahead and download and install the mx player app also so let me just go ahead and click on the home button so right now the fx explorer is placed on the home screen right here so if i just go ahead and click on that so it is going to open up the explorer option so right now this is how the things are the apps are arranged and of course as i showed you earlier it cannot it can be changed into a different sort of appearance so you can change it into a list and a grid based on the usage and based on the icon size so there are many more options you can, you can create a new folder right here and you can create a new file so many many options customizable options right here so if you are a person who is looking to access the files of the digipad and of course access the system files of the digipad so there is this is the app i think you guys will love using on the digipad it's very easy it's very convenient it's very pleasing to the eyes and of course someone else also sitting in the car will appreciate the way the file explorer opens up on the digipad and i don't think any of the avian systems or the i systems have this sort of a file explorer placed inside their car units so this is guys this is the app which i wanted to show you right now there are many more options also available in this i'm not going to go into the detail of that because once you download and install this i think i should give you a chance to find out many more new things for yourself so if you can just go ahead and sit down and play with the app a bit i think you're going to like it a lot and i think you're going to like it in your car it might be your wrv city jazz or amaze whichever you, you're having in case you have a digipad one you can download and install this and use this app to its maximum potential so that's it guys i think i hope you like the video which i just brought out now and this video has taken a lot of effort and planning in order to make it possible and if you do appreciate this effort which has gone behind in making this video in making in bringing this particular app in front of you make sure you go ahead and hit that subscribe button and also don't forget to like this video as well this is travel tech signing off and have a really nice day